and welcome to this week's episode of Amnesia, a game where no one knows what they're doing, including the host. So I am joined this week with Tim. Say hello, Tim. Hello. Do you have anything you want to tell the people that are watching or anything that you want to promote? Um, well, we're great to be out of lockdown, finally. Um, uh, so I'm a huge uh, Magic the Gathering um, player, so I've got over thousand cards um we try to play that every once a month um being restricted due to covid moment because you can't do it uh, base to pace but be good to get that back into it and um a volunteer at sea shepherd most of the other most of my other time oh that's awesome all right well wood carver gaming hosts the amnesia and some of the things that we do is we create beautiful dice trays like this one here We've also now create our own dice and we have beautiful GM screens like this one here. So you should definitely check out woodcarvergaming.com.au for any of your gaming accessories. But without further ado, let's start tonight's episode of Amnesia. You wake up to the sound of music. Before you have time to recognise the song, you hear an announcement. We interrupt this station with breaking news. A body has been found near a local restaurant. Police are currently on the hunt for a young male who may have witnessed the crime. The music starts playing again. As you become more aware of your surroundings, you realise the music is coming from an analogue clock radio. You shiver, there's a soft breeze in the air. As you look around, you notice you're in a bedroom. Looking across the room, the window has been left open. As the breeze touches your face, you note its refreshing qualities seem to soothe your aching head and queasy stomach. What would you like to do? Um, probably, let's, probably let's look out the window. Let's just see, let's see where we are. Sure. So... It's just a regular kind of suburban type of place. You've got trees in your front yard, a letterbox. It's just a, a regular town type of street. So neighbours are close by, um, the picket fences and everything's all neat and tidy. Um, you've got cars that are parked along your street. Um, there's kids playing in the front yard. There's nothing that seems to be out of sorts or anything like that. Let's try the door to see if we can get out. Sure. Do you want to roll a D4 for me? Yep. Uh, what'd you get? I got four. Beautiful. So you're able to open the door. It's not locked or anything like that. It's opened with ease. Okay, so let's exit the room and... So you walk into just an ordinary hallway with photo album of or photo frames of kids, mum, dad type of situation. Um, you can see that there's adjacent to you, there's like another door that's closed. Um, and then it's just a small hallway, so you've only got one door and then you've got like another opening space um just further up on the hallway let's go and open let's go to again open the door let's see what's behind the door the next door sure um and do you want to roll a d4 again for me? oh got a four again four again Love that them. one opens and that's just another bedroom <laughs> similar to the one that you've just come out of oh mundane <laughs> 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 okay. The, okay. Um. What's 
what else, what's that, anything any, I'm noting in the room? Is there like tested drawers or is there any? Yeah, so which in the one that you're yes. in now or the one that you woke up the one, in? The one I was, I'm in now. Yeah, so the one that you're in now, it has, it's got like a bed, chest of drawers, it's got a wardrobe, um, like bedside table type stuff. Uh, again, like your windows and everything. Did you want to open up and check what's in there? Yep, so yeah, I sure do. Yeah, <laughs> all right. Uh, roll a D4 for me. I got two. Two. Um, so there doesn't seem to be anything special in any of the drawers, just clothes. Um, you can see that there's someone's like diary type thing, but there's nothing like mysterious about the contents or anything. Um, there's, it looks like whoever was residing in the room has obviously gotten ready for their day because their pajamas have just been like left on the bed. It's not made or anything like that. They've just raced out the door from the seams of like what's happening in there. But nothing worth stealing. Or no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no jewelry hidden away, no safes. Okay, um, so let's go to that room and look at that, go to, toward that opening. The opening? Sure. So you've gone into the direction there and it's just like an open plain living area. So it's got like the kitchen, um, you've got the dining room area and then you can easily see that there's the opening for like a, a lounge room type space. And then again, as you're walking around, you can see that there's more photos of people um, and just they're kind of just placed everywhere. Like a family home. Yeah. Yeah, it's a family home. Okay. You can't oh. hear like anything like you haven't bumped into anybody at this stage no um nothing dramatic has happened yet no is there a tv is there a tv yes there is a tv let's let's go and turn the tv on let's turn it on all right can you roll a d6 for me i got a three three um so you turn it on and it's automatically on like the morning show or something similar like that and they're showing a a news report about the body that's been found in a local alleyway and there's not really much detail that they can provide at this stage but it's very similar to the report that you heard when you first woke up um when they cut in between that song okay cool so we've got a bit more info on where the body is. Um, what do I want to do? What do I want to do? Let's, let's let maybe see if we can leave the house. Leave the house? Yeah, sure. Um, front door, back door, like where are you wanting to go? Let's go front door. Front door, all right. Um, roll your D4. D4. Uh, two. Two. Yeah, you can open it. That it's not locked or anything like that. No issues walking out there. All right. There's no boy man about away from away from me. Uh, so yeah, should we go out there? Go out there. Sure. You go out there and there's not much going on there. It seems like to be still like a quiet street. It's early in the day, um, so there's. Like you can see that, you know, there's must be kids like going off to school and just that usual kind of like morning traffic. But again, still nothing unusual at this stage. And um, so it's just like, a, so eventually if I'm looking out at the streets, eventually I've got potentially neighborhoods, so I've got houses on the side, I can potentially go left or right. Yeah, correct. So you've got houses across the road from you, just a normal street, and then you've got your neighbors. And yep. then there's like the pathway that's in front of the houses that yep. like you can obviously walk along. Okay. Let's go, let's, let's start moving right. Right. Okay, sure. Um, so you're probably walking maybe about like 15, 20 minutes ish. And then you come across a park. Did you want to keep walking or what would you like to do? 
Um, let's let's go and enter the park. Go to the park. All right. Um, roll a d six for me. One. One. Okay. Um, so you set in like to go into the park, and you can see trees and the usual kind of um, like kids playground type of area, and. In the distance, you can see that there's a tree house, a slide. Um, there's also the sign that says McPherson's Park on there. As you do see that, you actually get A in memory. Oh, and yeah. you're at the park at night. There are swings, a bright red slide, and in the middle of the sandpit, there's a small tree house. Hanging off one of the tree branches is a silver colored envelope. You open the envelope with eagerness. It reads, an envelope is what you seek. You'll find it on a sign. The bells will guide you to a heavenly divine. What would you like to do? Mm. So the bells and heavenly divine, but she means that it's potentially a church or a cathedral or something like that. Um, perhaps I, mm. yeah, so maybe I'll go looking for the nearest cathedral. Yeah. So you want to have a look at the church cathedral type thing. Alrighty. Uh, let's see if you actually know how to get there to okay. begin with. So let's roll a D eight for me. I got six. Six, okay. So luckily you're in a smallish town, so there's not too many dead ends or ways that you can get lost here. Um, the church is probably another, say, 20 minutes again away in the direction that you're already walking in. Um, so as you're continuing to walk, you can see that the suburban kind of area is starting to dissipate and turn more into... A, a town center um but the church is still on the outlay of that area uh, so as you come across to the church you can see in the distance that there are police in front of the um, sign near the pathway um, and that the police are talking to the priest that's um there what would you like to do mm. I think we to go. Oh, the question will be: Is is the, am I the in relation to the body? Am I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. No, and it's like, oh, oh. actually, do let's do or don't. But I don't know that yet. So that, 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 that just my and um, let's let's go to the uh, n like a normal person will do is that you don't know what you're doing you don't know where you are and you're a bit lost so let's go and speak to the police you want to go let's and speak to the police all right sure um roll a d10 for me one all right. i'm eventful because there's all the numbers <laughs> <laughs> so you walk up to the police now are you casual like how's your demeanor as you're approaching them what do you, what's the purpose of you going to talk to them? But the purpose more is that I don't know who I am and I want to know, can they assist me to know who I am? Sure. Okay. Uh, so as you walk up, one of the police officers notice you. Hello. Can I help you? I've just had a massive big night and I can't remember who I am and hopefully you can assist me. You notice as you say that the priest has like a look upon his face. Um, roll a D4 for me. Uh, one. One. And um, so you, you don't recognize the emotion that he's showing. Um, but it's grabbed the attention of the other officer and 
they've taken aside while you talk to this main officer. Um, so what do you mean that you don't remember who you are, son? I don't have any memory. Uh, uh, I don't have any memory as to who I am. Um, I might have been out drinking last night and woke up this morning not feeling worse for wear and I just don't know where I am and who I am. And you say you've woken up. Where did you wake up? I woke up in a house. Was it your house? I can't remember. The people in the photos don't look familiar, but they could have been my brothers and sisters, my parents. But I don't know. And what's your last memory that you do have? I remember going into a park and reading a silver envelope. A park, you say? Do you remember what park? Uh, it was McPherson's Park. McPherson's Park, the one that has the cubby house, the, the tree house. That's the one. Turn around for me. Show, show me your hands. I show him my hands. Okay. Um, roll a D6 for me. Six. Okay. Do you know what's on your hands? No, I do not. So you take a look at your hands at this point and you can see that there's remnants of some sort of spray paint on there. Um, it's old, it's, it's dry. Um, the police officer continues saying, and you say you don't remember what you did last night. Are you trying I, to play a prank on us? I am not, sir. Uh, I am just as hoping that you can assist me. As you're because... saying this, the other police officer and the priest is coming across and he comes up to you automatically and says, I think you've got some guts coming over here today. Um, what do you have to say for yourself? And he shows you a picture of something that looks like you from a distance and at night in front of the very same sign that you're standing in front of. I can't remember that for being there. Sorry. I play dumb. Uh, let's see if they believe you. Do you want to roll six <laughs> for me again? Five. Okay. The main cop that you've been talking to doesn't believe you, but the other cop is slightly concerned that given the evidence that he has, clearly you were here. Um, so he's, yeah, he's a bit tired on kind of what's happening. Um, but the other cop's like, this doesn't add up. Clearly you were at the park last night. You even said so yourself, you were there. You've got the spray paint on your hands and there was spray paint on the play equipment from last night. And now we can see here that you've been at the sign where these letters have been muddled up um, and it's been vandalized. The church has got toilet paper all over it. I think you need to come with us, sir. And... Do I want to run away? Oh, what do I do? <laughs> <laughs> um, do I want to... Let's, let's see if I can run away. You run away? All right. Uh, let's roll a D20 for me. They're, they're right there and there's two of them. I got 14. All right. Okay, it's not going to win you off from that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> um, you've piss bolted into the direction that you're like the opposite to where you came from and you've surprisingly have been able to outrun them both one cop the one that was kind of tired about whether or not they were on your side and whether they believed you was kind of a bit stunned at how quickly you were able to propel yourself forward <laughs> and the other cops just a little bit too old not fit enough to keep up with your stamina so well done 
Yeah. Right, there you go. That's what, that's what you do with the, 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 the shark kids. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> when you're young and able. Yep. <laughs> I guess you consider you've got nothing to fight with at the moment, so in the back arms, so you, you, you run away is a good option. <laughs> <laughs> All right. What would you like to do now? Well, now I'm on the run with the police. That's what they, that's <laughs> <laughs> It's never a good thing to have. No. So, so now I'm going to be actually careful what I do because now the police aren't very helpful and I've done some kind of vandalism. Um, and... The church isn't very heavily divine as the letter that that, that envelope actually was indicating towards. Well, not towards you, apparently. <laughs> not towards me. Yeah. So, or... the, the other place I think of has, has bells that because it's not church and the other other only place has bells. It could be a school. School has a t uh, recess and lunch bells and start the day and end bells. So maybe we'll, we'll go and, oh, do I want to do that? Do I want to go to a school? Yep, let's, go, let's go try to go to school. Let's try to see what, yeah, the, it's, it's a mystery. Let's try to solve what the envelope meant. So let's go to a school. Go to the school? All right. Um, again, because you still go. don't remember where the school is. So I'll get you to roll a D8 for me. An eight. An eight, very good. So you, because you saw the kids that were walking to the school, you put it together that the school must be in the opposite direction to where you're going, so back towards the church. Uh, no. So... No. <laughs> <laughs> what would you like to do? Would you still like to go in that direction? No, that's where the police are. And it's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> don't risk it. They might catch you this time. Might catch me this time. And thing. and it's like, I'm... actually, I, I want to go. Actually, let's go back to the park. Let's go, let's go back to McPherson's Park. All right. So um, it's, again, it, because it is in the same direction that you'd have to go back towards the church to then get to the park. Do you want to roll a D6 for me just to see if you can find an alternative route to get there undetected? Okay. You've got a one. Okay, so you think you know if you took a left and then a right and then another left, you think in your head that would end up being at the park. Or all you end up doing is getting yourself lost and you actually end up more at the church than at the park. If I'm at the church, can the police still see me? Or am I just, you know, I, I can see the church, I got uh, grounds, but they, I'm still not Roll a D8 for me just to see what you can see. Five. So from where you are, um, you can see that there are no cops anymore from at least the angle where you're located. And the priest has disappeared as well. So he's probably gone off um, back into the church. You can still see like, where the sign is, um, but there doesn't appear to be anybody there now. It's been probably at least 20 minutes to half an hour since you were at the church last. Yes, and they don't expect me to go back to the scene of the crime. No, <laughs> they probably think you're a bit more witty than that. <laughs> but they don't realise how much my amnesia is really hit, hit, hit. <laughs> yeah. I have no It's legit amnesia, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's legit. I don't know where I'm going, and that's the truth. Um, if, um, well, we want, we want to keep going back to my first part. So thanks, now I know where the church is. So hopefully let's see if I can stay undetected and now kind of go the normal route. Okay. Because you want to stay undetected. I'm going to get you to roll a D6 for me just to see how stealthy you are. I've got a one. Okay, so you're sticking to the main roads um, and you're sticking to the shadows, but it's daylight. So 
you <laughs> you still you could be seen if yeah. the right people were there, but yeah. you were able to get to the park undetected. Nice. Um, so you're now where you were able to see the um, the treehouse and things like that from a distance. That's that you're back to the start there. Yeah. Well, let's go and have a look at the um, treehouse. Okay. So you've gone there. It took you like two minutes, a minute. It's not really that far. Um, and you can see now that it was clearly vandalized. There's the toilet paper everywhere. There's spray paint. You can't really tell what it is. It's clearly just done by kids that were like acting out and just putting lines and writing and just graffiti essentially. Um, just yep. Yeah, exactly. And the paint that's on your palm, so that bright red, orangey kind of color, um, you can match that to that particular um, tag as well. And you can see that there's a bit of the handprint where you've pressed it while it's been wet. Um, roll a D6 for me. Two. How much was that, sorry? Two. Um, so you can see that the envelope that you saw in your memory, that's still hanging on the branch as well. Let's try to see if I can undo, take the envelope with me. Okay. Um, so to be able to do that, you'd have to kind of, so the, the whole reason why you have the paint on your hand is because you needed to touch the um, tree house to be able to get yourself into position to get the envelope in the first place. Um, so you'll need to do a bit of climbing to be able to untie the envelope. Roll a yep. D4 for me. So it's not life threatening situation, which is great. <laughs> so, so you were able to, you had to stretch yourself out there a little bit and try and keep your balance to be able to untie it. But Luckily, you're on the taller end of the scale, so you're able to do it with a bit of ease. So you now have the envelope in your possession. I knew I had this earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well, probably the police might have been resolved. <laughs> well, and it, but now I know how I got the paint on me. You do. Okay. So now I've got a bit of explanation. So now it's like, okay, so now I'm not thinking I'm, I'm a graffiti artist, which is great. Don't know how that ties in with the body at all and how that relates to me or if I know them or um, anything. And so now I've got the envelope. Is there anything? So no, there was no, nothing protecting the envelope at all. It's just I've now got it. I'm happy. No. So it's literally just a regular silver envelope that has been folded to be able to look like an envelope. And then it's just been held up on the branch with a piece of string essentially to tie it up. So you can tell that cause it's that vibrant silver color. It's clearly there to be noticed. And then when you open it up, it's just that same message that says an, an envelope is what you seek. You'll find it on the sign. The bells will guide you to a heavenly divine. Hmm. Now I'm thinking that I probably should have looked at the sign a little bit more at the church. God damn it. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to have to go back there. <laughs> now, we're going to, like, but first, let's, 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 before, we're, which I think we probably have to do, but it's like, let's go up the treehouse. Up the treehouse? Sure. All right. <laughs> um, let's roll the D4. Uh, I got a one. Okay. So... It's clearly made for younger kids. So it's a bit of a, a squeeze to be able to get in there, but you manage. So you're now inside the tree house, but you don't really have much space to move around in. Does the tree house wear windows? It does, yeah. And what can I see out of the windows? Uh, just more of the park. So it's, it's one of those small ones that you can see just the, the distance, like the horizon of the park and then maybe at the further back of it where the trees are um, a little bit more sparse you can see like the houses that are on the other side of the street 
So there's no buildings of note? No, no. No, it's proper suburban kind of area. Just your typical, kids. yeah. No beach, no waterfalls, no nothing. <laughs> <laughs> nothing fun like that, no. <laughs> At least not on this side of town. <laughs> Uh, I've got okay, a sand pit though. <laughs> I'm always tempted to dig out the sand pit to see what the hell is in there, but I don't know if there's a purpose for it. Um, <laughs> actually, actually I, I, I'm, I'm, uh, since I've stuffed up the sign, let's, let's go and dig up the sand pit. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I'm going to cover everything now. It's like, uh... All right. Um, why don't you just roll a D6 for me? Three. Don't really find anything in the sand pit. Just, yeah. you know, the oh. odd shoe. <laughs> you found like a little spade and things like that, but nothing of note that you think would be important for your mission to find out who you are. No. Let's go back to the church and see if we can inspect the sign. Sure. So you. Now walk to the church again and it's another like 15 minutes or so something like that um are you being stealthy still or how are you not you're just going to go straight over yeah i'm com confident now as i can so as you I, like I can... saunter your way there with your little groove on, I can, yeah i don't care they arrest me now it's like i know that i'm innocent and i said i can t tell them to prove it so it's like the great. newfound confidence um, confidence is now but, but at least in my mind i know i'm innocent <laughs> could be guilty as hell but it's like in really my nice. mind that's, that's it you have no other memories to tell you otherwise no that's it so you you're at the sign now and and roll a d6 for me uh four four um so you can see here that there is an envelope dangling on the sign hmm i think i saw this earlier <laughs> <laughs> And I wanted to go on an aimless journey. Um, <laughs> um, is it anti protecting the sign? No. No, it's exactly the same kind of situation as the one at Treehouse. So it's just dangling on that bit of rope on one of the letters. I will grab the envelope and then try to read it. So as you touch that envelope, you get another memory. Oh, Arriving at the church, you are greeted by the pathway that leads to the main building. To the left, there is a large sign used to spread me messages to the church's congregation. It looks like vandals have come along and moved the letters. Just as you go to walk straight past it, you catch a glimpse of another silver envelope hanging from one of the letters. Would you like to open the envelope? Yes, that's going to open the envelope. Let's play a game of Scrabble. Unscramble me to catch the answer of the day. When you have a look at the sign, you can see that there's four words. The first word is wobble, W-O-B-E-L. Second word is C, like the letter C. Third is vel, V-E-L-L. -L. And then the last word is fubfet, F U B F E T. Now, you don't necessarily have to unscramble the letters yourself, but if you'd like to, I'm happy for you to give it a go. Otherwise, you can roll to see if your character knows the answer. Let's see if Picasso knows the answer. I <laughs> <laughs> sure. Uh, roll a D8 for me. Seven. Yeah, so you've been able to unscramble it. It took you a bit of time, but <laughs> you've succeeded. Um, and it spells out below sea level buffet, which um, you assume that it must be some like local restaurant or something like that. Right. What did the envelope, the second one, say? Let's play a game of Scrabble. Unscramble me to catch the answer of the day. 
Yeah. That was the third one, wasn't it? No, that's the second one. Oh, was it? Okay. Yeah. Because I thought I thought I remember for the touching the second one, then I opened another envelope. And I'm like, oh, oh no, that's the same envelope. Sorry. Oh, that's the same. Okay, cool. Um, thought I'm missing one. I thought I'm missing a piece of the puzzle. Um, <laughs> below sea level is a buffet. So it could be an underwater something, or it could be just below a restaurant side of things. Maybe let's roll the dice to see if I know where I'm going. Sure. Um, <laughs> let's roll a D12 for me. Let's see if you can find it. Oh, two. Probably not. <laughs> yeah, no. You walk aimlessly. You know that it's not towards the park, or at least you are fairly confident it's not going to be towards the park. So you're continuing on going um, past the church and you've reached the town centre, but you have no idea what this below sea level buffet is. Hmm. Can I see any mountains from where I am? Hills, slopes. You Rings. can see. Uh, <laughs> why don't you roll a D6 for me to see what can you, you see? Can, you can see what I'm going for. <laughs> what I'm did you get? Again. Four. Four. Um, so you can see in the very distance that there's like hills type stuff but it's not like mountains there's no snow or at least this time of year there's no snow um you can see plenty of trees and things like that but it's not like you're below and that you're kind of surrounded or anything like you're not in a valley per se no. at least you wouldn't describe it as such no. yeah but at least i'm not on a hill somewhere so it means i have to travel down too far <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you've already not, run away from the cops so you've used all your energy yeah i, I don't really want to do him climbing <laughs> so we've got to find this buffet below sea level can i maybe i'll head to is, is, is the town there near a beach or water lake or you have no memory of that there's no recollection of any kind of water-based side and things that you can think of. What we're really helpful is a map. So, is I think I'm going to see if I can find a information center or a true center. I love this. All right, <laughs> um, roll the D4 for me. one okay so you're walking up what you think is the main street and you're not seeing any obvious signs for like an information center um but as you do walk past you can see that there are a couple of shops that are open um if you wanted to walk in there or anything like that but there's no information center as per se what kind of shops are they uh, so along this street, you've got like cafes, there's a bookstore, um, you've got restaurant, there's um, like a couple of different restaurants, supermarkets, kind of like your, your bakeries, like what you'd normally get on a main street in a town. Hmm. Which shop will be the most helpful for my quest? Um... <laughs> <laughs> Decisions, decisions. Um, decisions, that's it, decisions. Um, let's go to the cafe. Cafe. That's where like, everyone has gossip. So, uh, you know, that's where you might have, they all oh. talk to the waitresses and waiters and to Sorry, share the coffee. And... Share their, their goss. All right, mm. roll a D6 for me and why don't you Two. go into the cafe and see what you can find out. So I go into the cafe mm -hmm. and I go to the counter and I do I have any money? That's probably not a nice thing to probably should have thought of before I even 
So, uh, I, so I check my pockets you to check see if I've got it. All right. We'll use the, the roll that you've just done there. Um, and you touch your pockets and you can't feel like there's a wallet or anything like that. They're pretty empty. That probably would have worked out well. If I had a wallet in there, that would have given me my identity. <laughs> yeah, you would have known straight away who you were, yeah. <laughs> Why did you not think of this? You know, 40 minutes ago. Um, Might have been at the cool. house. You just don't know. You don't know. Which is great. It means I can't buy anything, which is great. Um, not that I wanted to buy anything anyway. Um, <laughs> can't get that you, coffee for instant energy. Looking at the... Um, the, the menu. Um, so I speak to, so I try to approach the waiter, waitress, whoever mm -hmm. was at the counter. And I, I say, I'm new to the town and um, and I'm looking for a um, below the sea level buffet. Can you draw me a map, please, if you know where it is? Oh, sure, doll. I can do that for you. It's just, out here, go up the next street, and then you're going to turn left. And then probably another five minutes or so down that road, and then you'll see the blue sign that says below sea level buffet. But if I'm being honest, you don't really want to go there. Why do I not want to go there? Well, you'll find out the hard way if you do, but... Honestly, there's much nicer places to go and eat a meal. Who's recommended below sea level? No one around here, that's for sure. Someone has um, recommended highly. They've um, given me instructions that I must go and see below the sea level buffet. Well, I, I hope you read it properly because I'm f positive that that can't be true, but... <laughs> If you insist on going there, as I said, just out the door, turn left into the next street and then left again. And you can't miss that blue sign. It's an eyesore. Okay. Thank you for your help. No worries. And if you need <laughs> more food, I'd say come back here. You're going to need it. Okay. Thank you. No worries. <laughs> Good luck. So we walk out of the shop now. Doesn't ha fill me with confidence. <laughs> <laughs> no, she didn't seem like she was very happy with that, was she? No. So let's go and visit the bookshop and see if I get a similar response from the bookshop owner. From the bookshop owner? Sure. Okay. Um, roll a D4 for me this time. Uh, two. Sure. Uh, so going in, you have the little bell that rings as you open the door to notify the bookshop owner that you're there. Howdy. I'm new to the town and and I'm looking for somewhere to eat. And I've been recommended the below sea level buffet. I don't know quite know where it is and what's your recommendation of it? Oh, sorry, lad. I, I couldn't hear you there. Can you just repeat that for me? What did you say? I said I am new to the town, have been recommended to see the below the sea level buffet. Okay, well, I'm not deaf. All right, below the sea level buffet, you said. That's correct. Well. If I'm being honest, I'm sure you could go somewhere else. Um, but, you know, I, I've heard that they're, they're quite cheap and there's always a table free there. You'll definitely get what a table this time of day. That's great. Do you know where I can find this place? Yes, it's just out here and then you want to walk towards the next street and take a left and then just keep walking and you'll see the sign it's it's bright and you what you won't miss it and there okay. it'll be quiet you, you'll get a table there that's for sure no worries thank you for your help have a good day did, did you did you want to buy a book? I've got 
plenty of, of books. I'm sure I can find something that you would like. I currently have misplaced my wallet. Otherwise, I would have gladly taken one of your books off your hands. Oh, well, if you've lost your wallet, you're going to need to go see the, the police station. I can, I can direct you to the police station if you'd like to, to, to report your, your wallet that's, that's missing. I've already spoken to the police and they were very unhelpful. Oh, really? Roger? Yeah. Roger's a good friend of mine. I can call him up and, and have a word for him if you like. No, no, it's going to be all right. We, um, I didn't get off on the right foot, so to speak, with them. So I think I'll, I'll just rather just find my wallet, which I think I left it at home. So I think it's not lost. I just think I've just left it somewhere at my house. I don't have the money on me right now. Oh. There's nothing, nothing we need to involve the police about. Oh, oh good, good. Because a, a nice fella like you should, you know, be staying out of trouble, so... That's right. You, you come and say hello later on. I will definitely do that. If I survive my trip to the below the sea level buffet. Oh, yes, yes. Below the <laughs> sea level buffet. All right. Well, off you go then. I've got books to be dusting. Yep. No worries. Bye. And he just slowly turns around to go back. <laughs> go back to his dusting. <laughs> That's right. He's two in, uh, in dust on his books. No one okay. buys books anymore. No, it's all on the iPad now. That's it, all the e-books. Yep. Uh, so let's make, now we know where we're going, let's make our way to the blow the sea level buffet and look out for this blue, bright blue sign. Sure. So let's see if you remember the directions they gave you. Do you want to roll a D4 for me? A fall. Ah, oh, you find it with ease. You saunter along down the street and then you take the left and you keep walking straight for probably another five minutes, maybe six minutes if you're walking a bit slow, stopping as you're gazing at the different shop windows. Um, and then just before what you think must be the next block where the restaurant is from your memory you can see that there's a small street that's been cornered off um, by police cars and there's tapes and there's a small crowd that's gathered around there they look like reporters um, but there's a lot of noise going on um, yeah like you can't, you can't easily walk through the commotion that's going on there This is the body again, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you'll come back. Uh, back well, I'm a sticky bee. I'm a sticky bee. So let's go and see what the the crowd's doing. All right. Um, <laughs> so roll the D four for me. Ah, uh, three. Three. Um. So you walk through, and you're able to kind of make your way past the crowd to get to a point where you can kind of see what's going on. Um, so there's clearly the police tape that's marking off what you can now tell is the alleyway. Um, and just around the corner where the, the street and the alleyway meets, you can see that there's is something lying on the ground with the white sheet covering it that you can tell pretty obvious that that must be the body. Um, there are reporters that are kind of surrounding you that are trying to take photos and footage and people talking to the cameras um, and they're trying to get the notice of the police, which one of them you can uh, tell is also the same guy that you'd spoke to at the church. He has got around, hasn't he? He has. <laughs> Dear Roger. He has, you know, time travels. Um, is there anyone I can talk to? Uh, you're surrounded by people, so you can take your pick. Great. So that maybe we'll speak to one of the reporters and I'll ask, ask, do we know what happened here? 
Oh, what? Sorry, you're talking to me. What? What did you say? Sorry. Do we know what happened here? No, that's what we're trying to find out. We've only found out a couple of hours ago that somebody was murdered here last night, we suspect, but the police aren't telling us anything. Who are you? I'm just a tourist. Do you know anything about what happened to you last night? Nope, no idea. That's why I'm asking you. You've been, you've been here longer than I have. I've only just got here. Interesting. Tourist, you say? When did yes. you arrive in town? I have, don't remember. Okay, and what's the sudden interest in our local matters here? I just was heading to the below the sea level buffet and I remember this morning when I woke up, turned on the radio and also on the TV and they said that they talked about a body and now somehow I've stumbled across it on my travels to get something to eat and I'm a sticky beak and saw a crowd and thought, do you guys know what happened? Because the news wasn't very foretelling. Uh, sorry, sorry. Um, you've come to town as a tourist to go to below sea level buffet and you just happen to hear about it, a dead body that you now have an interest in knowing more information about. That doesn't really add up to me. Not interest. I'm just a sticky beak. A, 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 sticky a, beak, no, no, interest. Not not every day do you come across, you know, a crime scene. Like not every one. day do you come across somebody who's willingly going to buff below sea level buffet. Call well, it the reporter in me, but I see a story here. I see a story in, in trying to figure out what's, I'm, I'm more interested to know about what's so bad at this, as below the sea level buffet. Hey, I'm sure you're talking. about to find out soon enough if that's where you're heading. Yeah, because the, ca I... the, um, the cafe and the waitress and the bookshop owner said, both said they're going in, the, I shouldn't be going there, but for a bite to eat, eat. And that piques my interest when people say I shouldn't do things. things. I, I tend to go against the grain. Like killing a body, for instance? That kind of against believe... the grain? I don't believe I've ever killed anybody. You don't believe it or you never have? Do I need to call Roger over? We're good friends, Roger and I. I see that if Roger is friends with everybody. I've already met Roger today. We've had a nice conversation. Oh, so We've... you won't mind then if I just call him over then? Shall I call him over now? You can if you like. All right. Roger! <laughs> Roger! Roger dear, can you just come over here for a second, please? And as she does that, Roger turns around and he was about to dismiss her, but then he saw you and, well, he remembers you. So he cool. comes on over. Hello, Roger. You Good again? Voice. Why are you here? Fancy seeing you here. I found another envelope on my travels and it's led me to the below the sea level buffet. Nothing leads you to below sea level buffet. I show him my envelope. <laughs> so he takes a look at the envelope. What's, what's this? This is just nonsense. All I can see here is let's play a game of Scrabble. Unscramble me to catch the answer of the day. What does that even mean? Well, if you unscramble the words... What words? Get, there are no words on here. There is Wobble Sea Veil Buffet. Can you not see that? No. So when he looks at it, he can only see the, the riddle type thing. The words that you're referring to are actually on the sign at the church. That's very unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> Son, I know you said that you had no memory of who you were earlier, but I can tell you that I think I know who you are. 
that would be great. Who am I? Clearly, the vandal that is being being a menace across our lovely town. I don't think so. I've since discovered how I got the spray paint on my hands. Do tell. I got the spray paint when I touched the spray paint that was already on the treehouse when I was trying to get the first envelope. Oh, so now there's more envelopes, is there? There's only, there's only, there's been two. Yes. It's a mystery. Hmm. And I suppose you expect me to believe you that you're just somebody who is in the wrong place at the wrong time, I suppose. Like now, for instance. I don't know if this is the wrong place or the wrong time. I don't know who I am, but I'm just following these envelopes to uncover the mystery and hopefully find who I am in the process. Roll a D4 for me. A two. He's not really buying anything that you're saying. Like, if anything, he's getting more fed up with the more that you're saying to him. What do you want to do? Do you want to try and defuse the situation? Yes, let's try to defuse the situation. Let's try to get the cops good books for a change. <laughs> All right. Let's roll a D6 for me to see if you can... Remember. What would you like to say to... I've got one. Okay. <laughs> All right. What, what do you want to? What do you want to tell him to try and win him over? Um. Well, I'm new to the town. Uh, well, I don't know much about the town. Um, I don't know what's happened here. Yeah, I've just found two envelopes. I woke up to a house with no memory. A. a and I've been in, in the last sign I decoded said to below the sea level buffet, and now I'm here. Yeah, I've been told I shouldn't be going here from the locals, and I'm not sure why not. And I'm a little bit worried, Eat. but I also don't know who I am, and I'm also a little bit intrigued. Eat. And aren't you a little bit suspicious as to who's leaving envelopes around? And, and want to solve maybe the, the vandalism and these envelopes are linked. He wasn't quite believing you until the very <laughs> end. And then as soon as you said the words, don't you want to solve this crime? Then he's kind of like, yeah, yeah, I suppose I do. So he proposes taking you to below sea level to try and see if you can find this in another envelope and then he might be persuaded to believe you otherwise. Yes, yeah, got a companion. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> so he quickly nods off to the other investigators that are at the crime scene and he's like, I'll be back in five. And you both head along to the buffet. And we've got rid of the journalist as well. She's been satisfied with this conversation. Yeah, she's had another call. So she's taking the other call. More news. It's a busy town, surprisingly. <laughs> <laughs> Don't want to live there. It sounds like a house live there. Okay. All this drama. I know. Um, so and... you were right as well in thinking that the shop or the restaurant was just after this alleyway. So it was probably only like, 10 meters or something like that past the alleyway that you were able to see the blue sign um, and it's at this point that you have another memory you see a blue flash a flashing sign below sea level buffet or you can eat seafood you suddenly realize how hungry you are as you walk into the restaurant you note how empty it is you don't care you take a deep breath the aromas make your stomach growl the waiter does not acknowledge you as she hands you the next silver envelope. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Your prize awaits at the bottom of your plate. And at this point, 
once the memory concludes, you're at the entryway for below sea level buffet. But I don't have that envelope. No, you don't. Great. So now I've got to somehow convince my companion at the end is below the plate. Hey, and I don't know, and I have no idea how to do that. Because I'm not meant to know. Um, so let, let's go inside. I'm now in the, uh, I mean, in just way of the restaurant, or am I actually now in the restaurant? No, so now you've just walked in, and it's like one of those ones that have like the fish tank with all the different types of fish, so you can point out going, I want that one cooked. Um, and then it's also got like all the, the circular tables around and then at the very back of the, so it's got, it's split into two rooms. So you have like the main dining area, which is where the buffet is held at. And then you've got the smaller dining area, where it's kind of, you sit down, you've got a menu and you would then pick the food off there. And that's where you'd have like the fish that you can select what you want fried up or or whatever, but the main eating area is their buffet, which is like crickets at the moment. There's not anyone in there. You can see at the back, there's a, a waitress. Maybe I'll let the police person, Roger, take the lead. Because, you know, that's what his job is to investigate and to show me around. Well, does any of this look familiar to you? Nope. Haven't been here before in my life. You haven't been here before? No, I haven't. All right, well. I'm let's still go... trying to make... What's so bad about this place? Let's go speak to the waitress up here. No worries. So Lead the way. I'll follow you. Ma'am, do you recognize this gentleman? He here last night. What did I order last night? You had buffet. Ate lots of food. Gave you envelope. Envelope, did you say? Yes. This envelope, and then she kind of just turns around and hands the envelope. I give envelope to Roger. He opens it and reads the words that you recalled in your memory. Congratulations, you made it to the end. Your prize awaits at the bottom of your plate. And he just looks really puzzled and then just hands you the envelope and is like, is this what you're talking about? More of this stupid words. You asked for another envelope. We found another envelope. The mystery continues. Is guess we, is, we're almost at the end or well, I'm at the end. You joined halfway through. <laughs> so, <laughs> well, actually, actually, you joined three quarters way through. So that, let's find whatever this plate thing is, and we might be able to solve maybe the body, the vandalism, and also the letter mystery, all in one solid bow. So the waitress at this point would be like, you want lunch? I make you big plate of food. And she looks at both of you like really eagerly. Maybe this is the clue. Maybe we have to eat our way to the end. Roger kind of looks a little bit uneasy about this whole thing. Is the food that bad? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I, I had lunch not too long ago, so. If you want to eat this plate, by all means, this is your adventure. I think we have to. It's the challenge. Okay, so he's gonna <laughs> Thank ah, you for actually helping. roll a d6 to see if you can convince him to have the food with you. One. Yeah, he's not buying it. No. Yeah, he's not having that. <laughs> he's just like, 
I'll sit here. I'm not letting you out of my sight, but I'm not having that food. And then the waitress is like, so will you eat? Yes, I think we have no choice but to eat. Okay, I make you plate. Do you yes. have any preferences? Um, more, just a plate for one, if possible. Okay, me make big plate. And then plate. she plate. goes over to the buffet and grabs like the medium plate size and then just like piles it all on with food. And you can see like she's got like rice and there's um, all sorts of like meat dishes. And then she's got like the vegetarian dishes, like lots of beautiful like tofu. And you can smell all these different aromas kind of emanating from all of the, the different plates that you can see. Um, and it does look hot. You've got to give it to the restaurant. It does look quite fresh and everything. Um, and then as she tries to bring across the plate, you can actually see that she's curving over at the weight of this plate um, that she brings it across to you. And then as she places it down with this like huge like humph as it hits the table. <laughs> <laughs> you eat good food. I take one look at it and go, um, what have I got myself into? And Roger, can I still not convince you to give me a hand to finish this quest? Roll a d4. Three. Looking at the food and smelling the food, all his reservations are forgotten. And you can see that he's grabbing the waitress's attention to get a fork and like a separate plate so he can join you in this meal. Awesome. Thanks, Roger. Knew you'd be a great companion uh, on this journey. Right, but I'm not paying for this. This is your food. I'm just helping you eat it. No worries. Is I'm sure that they can. Um, we'll fill the bill out later once we solve the mystery of whatever is under this, off this plate, under the plate, around the plate, <laughs> where this is the plate. Eat. So let's see how well we do eating it, I suppose. All right. So you guys just munching away, lots of small talk. He, Roger's not a talker while he eats. So there's just a bit of food like flying out of his mouth a little bit as he's eating it. Um, you're, let's see if you actually like the food. Do you want to roll a D8 for me? Four. Four. Um, so the food's not bad. It's definitely not the most scrumptious food that you have. Like you, it the smells quite deceiving. Like the way that it smells, you'd think like the texture wise, um, that you'd think it would be like fully cooked and everything like that. Every now and then you're finding a bit that just seems to be half cooked. Um, the otherwise the sauces are delicious, and you're there's a part of you that are thinking maybe the sauces are there to disguise something. Um, but, you know, you're satisfied with the meal. You haven't had to pay for it yet. You're pretty confident that you're not going to need to pay for it, seeing as how you don't have your wallet on you. So <laughs> you're just going to continue eating. That's the problem the other day when I had the wallet. I was like, oh. <laughs> Roger should have checked that before, um, you know, sitting down with the person who doesn't know his memory. Does he have... A wallet, you know, that's... And are you going to be committing another crime, aren't you, before you even finish your, your meal? Yep. Well, so Roger, it doesn't pay. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Goes the copper into this. Yeah. He's like, well, someone's completing an um, thing. So it's probably been about, let's say, like 20-ish minutes. Um, and so you've made your way through the bottom of the plate. Um <laughs> and you're having a look and you can't see anything of note at the bottom of the plate. Um, I think right about now, Roger's very suspicious as to what a waste of time that even that stuff food was. <laughs> yeah, Roger's almost forgotten about why he was even there to <laughs> begin with. And then he's like quickly 
remembered that you know he's obviously on official business um so he's quickly like fixed himself up and was like okay well well what is it what's at the bottom of the plate nothing at the moment um look i've had enough of your games i think it's time for you to come to the station with me and he's not taken any answers from you he's just taking you in straight out of the restaurant great got a, I got a free meal that's great <laughs> 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 um so at this point he's gonna take you in the cop car and roll a d10 for me Five. Oh, hang on. I said D10, didn't I? Might help if I roll a D10 as well. Okay. Um, five, you said? Five. So you're starting to feel a bit funky. You can't name it, but that queasy feeling that you woke up with this morning is starting to come back and hit you with waves. As as soon as the car starts and you're going like around corners, it's starting to get quite high in your tummy. And you're not really sure if you're gonna be able to hold it or not. Roger. Yes. I don't feel so good. <sighs> don't talk to me right now. I think I'm going to be sick. And you don't want me to do it in your car. Please don't. And you can kind of see that Roger is trying to compose himself and like he's um, talking through like grit teeth. And yeah, you can Roger. almost see like the sweat beads <laughs> like on his forehead. Roger. What? Do you not feel well either? We are no longer going to talk. We're just going to go straight to the police station. I think we need to bypass the police station. I felt like this way before. As you say that, you get another memory. You are it's late at night and you're outside of the restaurant near the alleyway and you are vomiting up your guts uncontrollably you now recognize this alleyway as the same alleyway that you saw earlier that was cornered off by the police and with the dead body at this time of night there's no body but what you see is a male who is running past the alleyway with a knife in his hand and he's got a blue beanie blue gloves and you watch him as he removes the glove that's holding the knife and puts it into the bin that's adjacent um, of the alley on the street pathway and that is your memory what would you like to do with that bit of information Hmm. Hospital still sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, at this point, you're starting to get that. You know when you get that funky yeah. feeling in your yeah. throat and it's just like all the saliva's coming in there? So you're like, it's any minute now. It's going to happen. I think we need to pull over and find a tree, Roger. So he's already one step ahead of you. He's already like... Barely, yeah, he's, he's, he's barely stopping the car and he's already got his door open. Uh, so he's currently just putting up his guts right now. Yeah, I'm, I'm probably assuming I'll probably be doing the same. Yeah, you're about 10 seconds off. Yep, let's just, have, let's just, let's just fast forward the view for anyone watching this. Let's fast <laughs> so you're both like at a moment where you're settled your tummy's still a bit queasy, but you're at a point now, Roger's even offered you a bottle of water, like, and you're both outside 
enjoying a bit of breeze while you can. And then he says underneath his breath and goes, that's why no one goes to below sea level <laughs> restaurant. I'm starting to remember why they don't. And if only I remembered my dramas with them last night's encounter. But in talking about last night, I remembered something. Hmm. What did you remember? I was in that alleyway where the, where the body was. I knew it. And he kind of like sticks up a little bit and you can tell that he's like trying to get into a bit more of a defense mode. So he's got his hand on his gun, like ready. Cause I, I, I was in there because that's where I found my way after being under the below the sea level buffet. That's where I did this same occurrence in that alleyway last night. But I wasn't alone. And I, there was another male there. Another male. And you can see that he is listening now because he notes that there was remnants of vomit in the alleyway. And they were actually trying to find the connection between the victim and all of that. I can't remember much of the fellow that I saw. I just know that he had a knife, a bloody big knife. I've, and I was scared, I'll be honest. In a dark alleyway, absolutely sticks my guts. <laughs> 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 Not in a great place to fight if I was confronted. Uh, he had a blue beanie and blue gloves, actually. I remember he took one of those gloves off and put them in a dumpster in the alleyway. So at this point, his whole attitude towards you has changed. He is aware that of obviously the evidence that they have found and that there was fibers of a blue substance found on the body. Um, he is very cautious of you. Um, but he is still starting to relax a little bit now that he realizes that maybe you were just in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, but he does say that I think it's time for you to come to the police station so we can take your statement. And that is where we're going to end tonight's episode of Amnesia. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for joining. I hope you enjoyed that. It is good. Yeah. So bit of a bit of hazing for the the envelopes, the little adventure. Little adventure? Yeah. I wonder where it leads. Who knows? I know. I had um the bedroom. There was a few clues like where you woke up. So when you ran out of the house, I was like, oh, I wonder how we're going to be able to tie it all back in again. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you weren't kidding when you said that. <laughs> you just yeah. take it and, and, and run with it type thing. Yeah, it, it's, it's like, um, um, like, 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 like normal things, this is going, well, nothing else is happening here. So it's like, well, I can sit here and door the house and going, it's not a tiny go, well, let's go and see if we can, you know, find someone and yeah it's you know, kind of 50 50 about what you're going to do in that kind of situation isn't it it is it's like a, a and it's, it's like this could go from like you, you could sit there and go i oh, was open this book and do this and because this there's a, a normal adventure thing so you can actually go and open everything, everything and exactly yeah you don't know and, what's actually going to be useful or not until you kind no. of just give it a go but thank no. you so much for joining it was so fun i had a blast so i hope you did too I did. And I hope all of our listeners enjoyed it as well. Um, don't forget to vote for next week's genre and personality trait. Um, just go to woodcarvergaming.com.au forward slash amnesia. Until then, we'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks and bye. Bye.